TJ, uh, How you congratulations doing? on being drafted. And uh, what were your thoughts when you found out you were selected by the Green Bay Packers? Oh, man, it was like surreal. You know, all the, the waiting I was doing, you know, I was just waiting. And then when they called me, I was just like, it was just a rush of excitement. You know, I just couldn't wait uh, to be picked. And then when they picked me, it's just like, it's just an adrenaline rush. And, you know, I just can't wait to get up there. Steve McGargy. Congratulations. I was wondering first, do you prefer to Daryl or TJ, which you prefer? And also what conversations have you had with the Packers heading into the draft? Where did you know there were a team that in that position? Uh, uh I prefer I prefer TJ because you know some people can't really pronounce my first name correctly. So, you know, I try to shorten it and just tell them to call me TJ. Uh, what was the second question you said again? Just what conversations you had with the Packers leading into the draft? Did you know they were a team that was kind of interested in you? Uh, you know, they just wanted to know, like, what, like, who I am, you know, and, like, who I am as a player. So we had some great conversations about that. You know, we talked football, and, you know, we talked history and life, uh, as in life, how I grew up and stuff like that. Uh, I feel like we had a, a great communication. Um, I communicated with the doctor, the, doc, the team doctors very well. Got along with them, um, but it was, it was definitely exciting, you know, just to get just to get those calls and do those interviews. Uh, it was really exciting, and you know, just to get to know the coaches and get to know the uh, the training staff was cool too. Lily Zhao. Hey TJ, just uh, what are you looking forward to most about uh, playing with a guy like Kevin Clark? And also, as a guy from the SEC, what do you know about Green Bay? Uh, I just want to, you know, going to play with those guys is exciting. You know, playing in the SEC is exciting. You know, that's a hard conference to play in. So playing in the, playing in the SEC for four years was, was great. You know, definitely you get all of the, the, the best competition in the nation. Uh, going up there to play with Clark, uh, it's just like I'm just going up there just willing to learn, uh, get all the advice that he can give me, uh, and just like and see if we can click on the field together, you know, really uh, cause some disruption. Olivia Reiner. Hi, TJ. You played uh, offensive guard in high school. What, what was the most challenging part of the transition to the defensive line when you got to college? Uh, I never, I never played guard in high school. I was a right tackle in high school. Uh, coming, coming, coming into college, you know, making that switch. Uh, it was something I wanted to do uh, all throughout high school. I wanted to play defense. And when Florida just gave me the opportunity to uh, finally play defense, uh, I just took it, you know, I ran with it. It was it was hard to adjust uh, playing the different side of the ball, but Coach Rump definitely helped me out in that situation and definitely taught me the game. Ryan Wood. Hey, TJ, for anyone that hasn't seen you play, how would you describe your game? What, what are your strengths and what are you think the biggest things you need to, to work on to transition to this next level? I just got to work on consistent, consistent hands uh, uh, and just like, you know, uh, basically just stand on the field uh, longer and more. Uh, coming off this past season of uh, playing like 60 plus reps a game, uh, definitely showed people that I can stay on the, uh, stay on the field. Um, and just like going into that last season, I felt like I was just like really, I think I had, I believe I had a good chance of uh, really showing like who I am as a person. And like, I just feel like, my weaknesses is my hands, and I feel like that's just like growing with reps and consistency, and I just got to get better at that's definitely getting better at being consistent. Are there any other questions for TJ? Go ahead and raise your hands. Go ahead, Wes. Hey, TJ, uh, looking at your strengths, though, obviously you have some pretty impressive, you know, explosive kind of times out there. How does that athleticism sort of translate to, to how you play on the defensive line? Oh, it de definitely, like, being athletic definitely helps. Like, you're definitely more quicker than the O-linemen. Uh, hand speed is faster. Uh, definitely putting my athleticism on the defense side of the ball, I feel like definitely helped me in this draft. Uh, definitely helped me on the field to get to get my name out, out there. It's just that being as big and athletic as I am, I definitely use it towards my advantage on the field. MK Burgess. TJ, what is the biggest part of your game that you think you can help this Packers defense? 
definitely on the run. I could definitely help in the run uh, and definitely in past situations. Uh, I feel like I'm a, I'm a great player when it comes to run and pass. Uh, but I think I'm going to really make a, a big impact uh, on the run game, definitely. And definitely I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make an impact on the pass game too. Marty Hendricks. DJ, um, you know, I know you pride yourself on uh, being a run stuffer. What weight do you expect uh, you know, to be at uh, at the pro level? Uh, definitely like 320, uh, 320 or lower. Uh, it depends on how what the Packers weight they want me at to uh, to try to sustain the main it. But me personally, my goal is you know that 320 range. 